Isn't it kind of ironic that here I am known as the hybrid photo guy, right? I'm all about blending still photos with video and talking portraits and audio and graphics and music and making e-products, electronic products that are not printed, right? I'm kind of known for that on hybridphoto.pro and Discover Mirrorless. But, but you know, my entire career has been as a still photographer as well as video producer, but I've always had a connection to the print, particularly the inkjet print. That's right. I believe that part of growing as a photographer, and of course I've still got plenty to learn, is looking at your work critically with your own eye and trying to make that connection with the image the way that you wanted to. Yeah. So I make a lot of inkjet prints, I do, and it's terrific that Moab says, hey Will, what you been doing lately? And I said, well, you know, we're making a lot of e-products and we're doing well with that. I said, but we're seeing a trend about to emerge and that is, I call it an inversion. Yeah. Most photographers make their money selling printed products, right? When we talk of portrait, wedding, seniors, photographers, they sell prints, right? All right. Well, we think soon the e-product is going to catch up and become such commonplace that most portrait wedding senior photography studios are going to be making more money selling e-products, non-printed products, than they are printed products. Well, does that mean that printed products are going away? Oh, no, 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 quite the opposite. In fact, we think printed products in this inversion are going to become the specialty item and they're going to be worth even more money and they're going to be one of the things that separates photographers from their competition. True. Now, I've got this way of printing and uh, I've got a couple of young photographers, student, intern, folks, assistants uh, that are really into the whole idea of me kind of passing down all the stuff that I've learned about printing from back in the SEBA Chrome days all the way up now to our rather high-tech fancy inkjet lab. We think that part of the process of our portrait sessions revolves around the print. Now, when folks come in and you check my, here, my website, there's my portrait website, ch chicagoportrait.pro, you'll see that's my style of photography. A lot of it's black and white, all of it is printed here, and we do include prints in our session, right? You gotta buy a session, it includes one 10 by 10 inch print. Now, that's where the customer's choice ends. Now, all right, if they order a, a, a typical framed print, right, that looks like this, that's gonna have a, a hardwood black edge to it, the frame molding. Then, of course, it's got a low reflection glass, not the super expensive museum glass, but it's gonna have an off-white mat and then a little gap where you can see the paper white here, and then you've got the black edge, and then it's got the print, and the black and white prints get a tint on them, and I'm very picky about what that tint is, right? That's the printmaking process. That alone is very different than what a lot of other photographers do. Now, I need to pass that along to my staff, and I thought, and Moab thought it was a great idea too, that I share it with you. So, thanks to, of course, our great friends at Moab, and of course, I've got a wonderful relationship with uh, the RIP print software that I'm just in love with, Image Print, and of course, Azo Monitors, and a bunch of other little brands kind of pop in there, x right and all those other things. I want to help share with you what I see. I see the e-product taking over. I see the printed product becoming more important, much more important. Now listen, nothing against the ProLab prints. They're beautiful, really. Got no problem at all with them. But take a look. A print like this is one of our signature prints. Take a look at this. Beautiful, right? It's tinted. The tone on there is one that I've selected just for that particular image. It's laid out on the paper the way I want to and I've chosen the paper, right? I kind of have this little thing where I let the image tell me what paper it wants to be printed on. Now it sounds kind of weird, right? But it's all about contrasts, right? That was the Moab Somerset Velvet. And that is a very matte paper. And it's got no spray or anything else on it, but she's got that beautiful skin, she's a cute little girl, and the contrast of printing that onto a velvety 
surface paper is what makes moms just go ooh and ah when they see the print. And we love to put the print here. We shoot LEDs in the studio, right? We don't use flash. That makes a great surface to display the print. The same table that we shot the photograph on is then displayed because it's all color corrected, right? That also allows us to take this contrast to another level. We call it elevate. We're elevating the print up to an exhibition grade. Look at what's behind me. On the wall in the back there, that's one of our typical block mounts. Now that's gonna have one of our glossier papers, right? We don't really do glossy inkjet paper. I'm just not a big fan of it. Instead, that would be either the Moab uh, Exhibition Luster, or it would be probably the Colorado Fiber Sateen paper that I like a lot. It's got a little less sheen to it, a little less luster than the luster does, but it's got a little surface to it. Then underneath that, that's gonna be submounted with a rough, beautiful paper, right? Entrada Bright, that's gonna be a cottony, beautiful paper. Then it's going to have that block mount, that's a, a basic clay board that you can buy at any graphic arts supply store. And then we're gonna paint that, sign it, and then put a couple coats of premium lacquer on it. Now, remember, it's all about the contrast, right? The layers and the contrast. There are no other studios that are doing that. Our customers love that. That's a premium product. That's expensive, right? Yeah. The contrast in that is that it's a glossier surface paper for the photo mounted onto a rough, very ragged edge, right? Paper, it's beautiful. Then it's on a satin finish board. Wow, that's a lot of different layers of contrast. And people see it and they either love it or they don't, right? They go, I don't want this, I want a frame, right? Then we sell them a frame, no problem. But we also reverse that contrast, right? Take a look at the shot of the baby. The baby is printed on Somerset Enhanced Velvet. Then it's submounted on the rag paper, right? The Entrada paper. Then it's mounted onto a wooden box that has the wood grain enhanced just a little bit by using a semi-gloss lacquer, right? Again, contrast. If we're going to have a matte, a very matte finish photograph, it's going to be contrasted by that wood that's got gloss on it. Clients love it. Makes us different. It elevates the printed photograph. And for me, super simple to do. All right. Now, of course, I mentioned before, I'm spoiled, right? I've got a wonderful print lab and we keep a wide variety of only five paper stocks that we print on continuously. We keep a couple specials too that I want to vlog about on this vlog, thanks so much to Moab. But before we check out on our first vlog post, would you like to take a quick look at what my lab looks like? It's pretty cool. Come on, let me show you. I'm so proud of my little cave down here. This is all kind of parts and pieces that I've put together over the years. I use different types of printers for different types of papers. Um, I find Epson printers and Canon printers to be great together. Um, however, they both have their own personality and they both have their own specialities. So our goal is that we want to be able to have different printers, of course, at the ready all the time, driven by one computer system that's on the network. Now, I'll get into detail more and more on what's going on back there and hardware and solutions on how to make that hardware run great. One thing we don't do, which a lot of photographers do, is we don't print out of Photoshop using the Photoshop, you know, Command P uh, print window. Uh, we just find it too irregular and too difficult. We've got better solutions. I'll share them with you as you go. So if you like, give me some questions on what you would like answered, and I'll be glad to make a vlog post to answer your questions here on the Moab vlog post. Or if it's more about hybrid photography, of course, hop on to hybrid photo Pro. In the meantime, I got to get these two clowns back to work. That's uh, that's Louie. Louie, say hi. Yeah, he can't talk. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and in the back is Ian. Ian, say hey. Hey. Yeah, hey. yeah. They keep making the mime jokes because of the white gloves. You know the whole mime thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Thanks for watching our first blog post. Lots more coming up. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Ready to elevate your photography? Well, join me back here, of course, and on hybridphoto.pro as well as the photochannel.pro. Check out your local camera store for some Moab inkjet paper or check out a couple of the labs that print onto Moab inkjet paper, including my favorite, White Glove. That's at whiteglovephotoprinting.pro.